With surging new cases and deaths, India is facing an unfolding coronavirus catastrophe. Here's what led the country to this state of emergency. It seemed like the perfect place for COVID-19 to run wild. India's health infrastructure is underdeveloped, urban population density is high, and the country already suffers from high rates of other diseases like TB and malaria. In the first wave, Prime Minister Modi acted swiftly, locking down the country and masking up. A relatively small aid package of 300 billion was passed by the government, and with less relief, people needed to get back to work sooner, and lockdowns became unsustainable. This led to what the WHO called the perfect storm. Mass gatherings, new variants, and a low vaccination rate. The aftermath brought a surge of more than 4 million infections and 35,000 deaths in April alone. And those are just the official figures. The true toll is estimated to be 20 to 30 times higher. The rapidity with which this virus is spreading is uh, faster as compared to the uh, last wave's virus. Complacency had led the government to lower its guard, allowing most activity to return almost to normal, including weddings, political rallies that Prime Minister Modi addressed himself, and religious festivals. These super-spreader events aggravated an already devastating situation. The Kumbh Mela festival, one of the world's biggest religious gatherings, was held in the city of Hardwar between January and this week. It attracted an estimated 25 million Hindu pilgrims, mostly without masks or social distancing. Meanwhile, even with hospitals exhausted and an oxygen shortage, local government still intends to host an annual pilgrimage in India-administered Kashmir this winter. It will see 600,000 more pilgrims flock to the Amarnath Shrine in the Himalayas. Nothing is happening. All the helpline numbers issued by the government are switched off. As foreign countries cut travel ties and step up aid to India, the Indian government has called on its armed forces to help tackle the situation, described by many as the worst healthcare crisis in modern Indian history. We accept the fact that the coronavirus is here and this is widespread, but the equipment that should be there, the facilities that should be there in the hospitals, they are not there. <laughs> 